Lenora is with the uh, Community Wellness Partners, and they're announcing the, uh, the next William and Rita Abraham Speaker Series. And the topic is Parkinson's disease coming up on the 15th, right? Yep. So Community Wellness Partners is an affiliate of Presbyterian Homes and Services and Lutheran Care. Um, and for several years now, Presbyterian Homes and Services has been known for um, their work for, with Parkinson's disease with people in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually our fifth speaker. So we've had four in 2017. This will be our first for 2018. Um, we have Stephen DeWitt, who's going to be joining us from Connecticut. Um, and so the family, William and Rita Abraham, it's important to recognize them. Um, William and his children, out of uh, love for Rita, who passed away, yeah. created mm-hmm. this this um, speaker series in order to get high-profile speakers to come to our area and talk on the topic of Parkinson's disease. And there's been a lot of progress made, right? I mean, you look at Michael J. Fox, yeah. but I mean, even well, people Michael I know J- personally that are... That yeah, are yeah. Um, Living with the disease and, and treat almost be, it could be treated a little bit. Well, so one of the things we've recognized and, and one of the things that we're moving uh, forward with with Parkinson's is um, exercise, okay. intense, vigorous ex- exercise. So we have a Rock City boxing program on our campus. Mm-hmm. It's intense, um, non-contact boxing. Um, and we have trainers that are certified in this. They actually went out to Indianapolis to do that. Um, and one of the speakers that came to us <clears throat> had talked about this program. And so we were like, we, we you know, yeah, got to yeah. get this. So. Um, there are experimental things that are, that are done and I guess we don't know, uh, whether it works. I know we've had a gentleman in here that, um, what does he use? It's, um, uh, stem cell, he, he was stem using cell yeah. in- injections. Yeah. And while, um, it, it's not proven at this point, uh, I, I see improvement with him and whether it's the stem cells or it's a placebo effect, sure. whatever it is, it seems to be working. Um, how important is the, so you have, we have experimental, Mm -hmm. we have, I have another question on the, on the medicines that are, that are used, but how important is it to have somehow finding the strength within yourself to have the right frame of mind? Oh, it's, it's, it's everything. I mean, I, I see people who are uh, at the same age with the same diagnosis. And when you have one person who has um, accepted what they have and chosen to challenge it versus another person who's kind of accepted what they have and chosen to do nothing about it, night and day difference. Yeah. Night and day difference. Attitude is everything with, with everything we face in life. And the medicines, Mm -hmm. um, the, the the medicines do more today than ever before. Um, it seems. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Michael J. Fox, I think, is probably a great, uh, yep. you know, he probably has the means to be able to get everything that is needed, which is what you guys really, really assist with. But um, the medicines also have side effects, sure. I'm assuming. Yep. What are some of those? So typically, you know, it's it's common when people see Michael J. Fox and he's <clears throat> um, tremoring and he's kind of shaking that people think that's Parkinson's. Oftentimes, that's a side effect of the medication. Oh. So really what happens is oh, you I become statuesque with Parkinson's. Mm-hmm. You kind of freeze up. The medication is what Parkinsonian people say, actually, is what turns you on. So when they're kind of moving... He's in very head, fluid. It's called dyskinesia when okay. they're moving like that. Um, and that's typically what happens as a side effect of the medication. Okay. Wow, I did not know. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Um, and with any medicine, there are there are very difficult side effects as sure. well. And uh, but at the same time, it's allowing people to 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 move forward. Mm-hmm. Um, so exercise, all of that stuff, really, really important. And that's a, a Ex- lot of the topic of, of what they're going to be talking about. Here. Yep. So exercise, education. Um, you know, the speakers that we bring in, we've talked about nutrition before. We've talked about deep brain stimulation, which is another alternative for Parkinson's disease. Um, this gentleman runs the Connecticut Advocate um, Center for Parkinson's Disease. Um, you know, just advocating and getting behind it. And, and again, not just laying down and taking the diagnosis, yeah. but really trying to be active and do something about it. All right. How do, uh, so it's on May 15th. May 15th, Tuesday, up. 1 o'clock. It's going to be held in the Emmaus Room at the Presbyterian Home for Central New York. Uh, the event is free and open to the public. And if people are interested to know more, they can call 235-7110. Okay, 235-7110. All right, thanks so much.